Hello and welcome back. You are doing DILR 1000 with me, Jijo. And in this lesson, we will look at a set which has got both selections and sequencing. These are, uh, you could call it hybrid uh, sets, which has got multiple uh, so sort of sort of stuff going on. But actually, if you look at the cat uh, problem, it, it has got some elements of high of hybrid nature. Maybe some of the set we looked at in the past also had that. Just uh, just wanted to help you understand if you have this hybrid set. If you are systematic in your approach, you can actually solve uh, all these questions pretty uh, pretty easily. And we have we have also seen in the past. We have you already seen uh, ten lessons so far. You you've seen that if you actually are very neat and you are systematic and you gather information, you have the good board and and you patiently solve it without hurrying. You can actually solve it much 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 faster. So let's have a look at this particular set. This is from CAT 2019 slot number one. So the, the 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 setup is clean. So you have got setup. You have got some rules. And when you look at the questions, you also see the question is that you see that uh, six performance. There is no cannot be determined uh, and stuff. And which of the following is true? Which of the following is false? So you see that in all probability we can uh, crack this set uh, uh, completely and you can answer all the four questions uh, together so uh, this is 12 marks I think I'm just ladies and gentlemen this is something that we should get and let's see how we can nail this one so let's have have a read and uh, start solving this question let's see PQR is where, where the four finalists in a dance competition ABGD where the four music composers who individually ass uh, assigned item to dancers. So we have got uh, two game pieces here. So we have got P, uh, Q, R and S. Those are our dancers. And we have got the second one which is A, B, G and D. Those are our composers. Right. Each dancer had to individually perform two dance items assigned by different composers. So at, at, so, so now at this point in time, you're immediately saying that, okay, I have got a final output value for each one of them in terms of fact that each one should have different composers. So it, so in this case, one one is almost thinking that might be a good idea. So you can go for a tick and in and out. Uh, so if you, have, if you have P, Q, R and S, and you have, you have got A, B, uh, G and D, so we we can we might might think that this might be useful uh, to uh, quickly uh, work with the data and see who who is there and who is not there. When you visually represent this, things should be by and large uh, easy to handle, and all of them needs to have two. And these two are two very different ticks. So the tick and cross will work here to handle that. The first item performed by the four dancers were ass assigned by different music composers, which is good news. Uh, for first all first item were different. And and uh, no dancers perform the second item b before the performance of the first item by other dancers. So now we have some sort of sequence here. Let's let's work that out. Let's let's put that game board one two three four. That is for first item, and then the second one to uh, first five six seven and eight. And since there are the da the, the, the the dancers and and the composers, we have that four uh, composers uh, here. So we have one two three three and four. Uh, this will be five, six, seven, and eight. Let's put the sequence in. Okay, the dancers perform their second items in the same sequence as they perform their first item. So whatever is the sequence here is the same sequence. Then, if you want to quickly uh, uh, capture that, you could, you could probably say that this uh, is, is going to be the same as that. So you can just say that these two are going to be exactly the same for dancers. Okay. So we have got uh, all the board here. We have got the two board that we're going to work with, and then solve the questions. Uh, one, uh, the, look at the facts here. No composer assigned uh, to uh, item to P assigned any item to Q. So compose for P and Q are different, so this will be good. So we can we can we'll get some good information there. No composer assigned to R assign any item to S. So R and S are also different. Very good. I think this order is pretty good. So this is good. The first uh, performance was by Princess. And it was assigned to B. So, so let's let's write that information there. Uh, P, a P, and this was to B. I think that couple of more quick deductions we can make. If this is P, this will also going to be P. So we can we can put the P there, and a P has taken B, which means Q will not take B. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a quick information, whatever deduction we got. And let's look at the next one. Next one says that uh, the last performance was by Rani, and this was uh, assigned to Gagan. So this is Rani. And this is this is uh, Gagan. So if this is R, this should be R. And if uh, R is taken, Dani, 
R S T K N Rani, R S T K N Gagan, okay. R S T K N G, ladies and gentlemen, S will not take G. So that is a good piece of information that we have. Let's look at this one. The items assigned by A A was performed consecu uh, consecutively, and that is a good one. Let's start thinking about this. What does that mean? Item assigned by A has was performed consecutively. Okay. Obviously, we know that we can find only A only once here. So so that will then mean that. Uh, the only way to have something consecutive jumping from one to next it will be a four and five that's the only way to be consecutive let's put that in there and also make some quick decisions uh, which means we have got r is a so r r is a r is a which means uh, s cannot be a uh, p is a which means q cannot be a which means we have got the value for uh, q q has to be g and d and rsp uh, uh, s has to be b and d so that is something that we uh, have kind of got it and this will be very useful we don't know the order where it is but at least this 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 uh, this the, this information will help us ladies and gentlemen to fill the rest okay let's look at what is it the number of performance between items assigned by each of the remaining composers were the same so a, each of the remaining composers were the same which means if you have a b uh, whatever the, the distance between b will be the same case so you can all, almost start uh, thinking here uh, to the b can have only these two positions here right the b can have only these two positions now if, if b goes here it will be a big problem if b goes here which means we have got one two three four five spaces which means uh, which means uh, g has to come one two three four five g has to come here that forces uh, whoever is uh, uh, next which is our who is next which which will be our uh, d will will be uh, d will end up being in these two position and that has got only this two uh, case so therefore that will not work the only way it is going to work ladies and gentlemen is if b goes here which means we are looking at 1 2 3 4 in between b so then you can think g 1 2 3 4 between g that will pro, that will push g there and that will push g there and then we can actually have a d which is d will be here and there'll be four of them and then we have a d there and now it's a question of looking at who will go here so q needs d uh, q uh, q has got d and g Okay, so here is D and G that doesn't work, but here is D and B. Okay, Q, Q does not have B, Q does not have B. Q, Q therefore needs to get it to uh, get to uh, D there. That will be Q. That will be Q, and that will be S, right? And then once uh, once uh, Q has uh, was taken D there, the other person will be G here. So that will be that will be Q here and s will be d there okay that's it so we have got the entire entire story here ladies and gentlemen all we have to do is now go get the 12 marks and and, and 12 12 marks ladies and gentlemen let's start which of the following is true the third performance what's by a was the third performance by a third performance not by a ladies and gentlemen third performance is not by a it is by someone else so that's that's incorrect uh, second one the second performance was by d the second performance exactly was by d therefore that ladies and gentlemen would be our answer choice we can check the others as well the second performance the third performance was by d that is wrong okay so this will be the right answer choice which of the following is false we are looking at false let's look at the first one q did not perform any uh, in any attempt by g Q did not perform by G. What nonsense! Q has got a G, so that will be absolutely false, ladies and gentlemen. So that will be our answer choice. We can check other. R did not perform any item by B. What about R? R did not any item, which is true, which is true, which is true. Uh, S did not perform any item by A. S did not perform any item by A, which is also true. Uh, P did not perform any item by D. That is also true, ladies and gentlemen. So this this kind of tick and cross help. So we are working with two tables here. Table number, uh, uh, the, the board number one we work with, and board number two we work with, and our life became so much more easier, ladies and gentlemen. The sixth performance was performed by uh, whom? That is easy to look at. Six perform performed by S B whatever. Who oh, is it? B uh, and which performer were composed by which which performer composed by the same composer? Third and seventh. Let's check third. 
third and seventh no 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 next one first and seventh is that the case first and uh, seventh no 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 first and six i think that would be the answer ladies and gentlemen the first and the six will be the right answer choice and what is next second and the six no way second and six. that's it so you got that answer and you got the 12 marks so for anyone who's telling that cat uh, lrdi is stuff oh, oh yes there can be challenging set but there are these sets like this if you are systematic i'm telling you if you are systematic if you don't hurry if you do things very neatly i think that you can absolutely solve every question very beautifully so i hope i hope this uh, this helped you ladies and gentlemen gave you some confidence i'm sure that you can actually crack tlr bye and i'll see you in the next lesson